everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another top five video so in today's video we're going to be doing top five attractions in hollywood studios That's right. last video we did magic kingdom this week it's hollywood studios so roll those credits it's the two please top five and coming in at number five is slinky dog dash the newest one of the newest rides in Hollywood Studios. It is. Yep. We're not counting Galaxy's Edge in this, by the way. No. We haven't we been, there. been and it's not open yet. So, <laughs> no. Obviously. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll just be like, it's my first run. Uh, Rise of the Resistance. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. So, back to Slinky Dog. Number Why five. Why is it at number five? Well, for me, I was just really surprised with how much I enjoyed it. Me too. Were you? Um, yeah, I just... really. I say, I say to everyone I talk to about it, I was really surprised by yeah, it. Yeah, it was much like much more thrilling than what I thought mm. it was going to be. I mean, it's a family coaster, so it's suitable for everyone. It's not like really, really scary, mm -hmm. but it's it felt quite long when you were on it. It didn't yeah. feel as quick as something like Mine Train. Um, and I just thought it was, the queue was cool. I just thought the theming was cool. I liked the kind of the bunny hop section. Mm -hmm. I liked the bit where you kind of take off. Um, you get a good view of Toy Story Land when you're on yeah. it. Get a good view of Galaxy's Edge. Which, yeah, you will anyway. Oof, that's a sin. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just really liked it, and I like the fact that at the end you get to see Wheezy. Yeah, I love that part. Yeah. Um, what I would say on it again, I love that it looks like a toy track. Mm -hmm. the I was great. very surprised by it. I love the cars. I love the fact that you have Slinky talking through it. Yeah. I love the sound effects of that launch with the little spinny fins because that reminds me of my old Hot Wheels toys. Yeah. The only thing I will say about it is and this is about toy story land as a whole oh. i think the designers thought it was for a different area of the country because there's oh. no shit no there's no shit. granted there's a few fans in the uh slinky dog queue but oh my god which is problematic fun. when it rains because then the ride tends yeah. to get shut um but i just really enjoyed it i like the queue i mean we fast passed it which mm -hmm. i would recommend anyone if you can get one then do because it's still crazy in there yeah. um but the queue is really cool you get to see like Little kind of hidden details. Yeah, I love the drawings like uh, that Andy's done and the fact that they had like the, the box that the truck came in. Yeah. Um, trying to think now. You've mentioned Wheezy, which was amazing. Yeah, and also you've got like Rex and Jesse, like with where oh, the yes. lights are. And you go through like past the Jenga pieces. Yeah. Um, it's just really well done. I thought it was really yeah, well done. For what it is, a family coaster that has two launches, I was like. Yeah, and considering surprised. we've been on it once and it's number five, I think that yeah. speaks quite highly of it. Well done. Yeah, so that's number five. So next up at number four is Rock and Roller Coaster with Aerosmith yeah. for now. So uh, I love this ride because um, I feel like I kind of grew up going on this ride. It's been there for as long as yeah. I've been going to Disney. Um, I've got like a real nostalgia thing with it. I love Aerosmith. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm a big Aerosmith fan. Um, and I love the fact that you get like the music as you're going around, mm -hmm. and, like the launch. It's just, I just really like it. Why do you like it? Because you get a ride in a stretch. No. A super stretch. A super stretch. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love I love that pre-show. I love the weird fascination that Aerosmith seem to have with lava lamps. <laughs> <laughs> the room's filled with them if you look around. Like in the studio. Yeah. I don't think I even realised that. And the cheesy power is like, hey, we want to do that to our fans. You know, we love them. Get them some backstage <laughs> passes. I love that cheese. Um, the ride itself is fun, you know. Mm -hmm. um, if not a little bit dated, but I like it. No, I like it. It might be a little rough in times, but I love that launch. I love any launch with a with Steven Tyler going, Fav! Yeah, it's just great, isn't it? Um, I like the fact that... Um, the, the, most of the queues indoors, mm -hmm. so uh, that's obviously going to be air lovely aircon. Yeah, the whole area outside is yeah. always playing some tunes, which is great. Yeah, and they have like um, a cool shop where they have like themed merchandise. Yeah. I just really like the ride. I mean, obviously, it's not for everyone. It is a thrill ride, and it does go upside down and things, but it's not high um, because obviously it's all indoors. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, kids can go on it and stuff. It is a family suitable ride if you're tall enough and brave enough to go on it. I just really like it. Um, it's got a single rider queue, which is good. Yeah, everything about it, I just really love. Mm. I, I will be sad, because it's inevitably going to happen, I will be sad when the Aerosmith part of it goes away. Mm. Um, because for me, like that's part of what, the reason oh, why totally. I love it. Yeah, it's a fun ride, but the soundtrack makes it. Oh, I also like how at the end of the ride, when you're getting off, it's like you've arrived on the red Backstage. carpet. Yeah. yeah, I like that part as well. Yeah, it's just good. really cool. So, that's number four. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so at number three is Star Tours. And um, we had a bit of an argument on this one where it should be. It wasn't an argument. We had a Those disagreement. Plates flying, it was awful. Um, but yeah, I love Star Tours. You love Star Tours. I love Star Tours. I do love Star Tours. I do love Star Tours. Why would you love this one? Why do you love this one, rather? I love this one because you love it. Yeah. And so it makes it more special for me. I really love the queue. I mm-hmm. think the queue's amazing. Oh. Uh, I love the queue. <laughs> I'll let you talk about that. I'll let you talk mostly about this. I just okay. like it because it's different, obviously, a lot of the times when you go on it, they have different sequences. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the queue. I like the queue. I like the ride itself. Um, yeah, I just really like it. Yeah. You can talk about it. Okay. So, we'll start the queue. It's full of Star Wars stuff. You've got walk straight in, you've got C-3PO and R2-D2 there. Well, what about before that? You go through the Ewok village and everything? Oh, yeah. Well, that's... I don't know how I feel about that particularly because oh, like it's like it's supposed to be like a movie set. Like if you look up, you see the like the scaffolding and stuff, which is kind I've of got the cool touch. Oh yeah, I love the AT-AT. AT-AT. Um, but yeah, you've got C-3PO, you've got R2-D2, you've got Rex, the who's now going to be a DJ in Galaxy's Edge in oh, the back yeah. check. There's so many little elements to that queue, which although it's packed in quite a tight space. I love the bit where he's like scanning the luggage and you can see like what's inside yeah. the luggage on the screens and things. And he's like, nothing will get past me. Yeah, and I like the fact that when you go in, you've got like the big destination board as if mm-hmm. it's like an airport and you've got lounge. the shadows of people going into the terminals. Yeah. I think that's really cool. Um, it yeah. sets up the theme straight away. Mm-hmm. The ride itself, um, yes, it's just a simulator ride, but it's done very well. Yeah. Well, you've, um, again, you've got R2 and C3PO. Yeah, you've got 3 pure as your pilot. And Bad what decision. happened to you on the ride, Tom? I was the rebel spy. On the first time we ever rode it, wasn't it? First time I ever rode it, I was the rebel spy. Which was, it's probably why I love it so much. Yeah. It was a great experience. I love the fact that you get different um, places to travel each time, so it is different. We got three different sequences over the time that we went. Yes, we got... We got, did we get two of the same? We got Batu. um, We got the Pod Race. And then we also got um, the... What we was got the one with a, we, got a, we got a classic one, yeah. What was the one with Leia? I can't remember. We wanted half. Yeah, I wanted half. We didn't get half. No. I think we might have got like um Button Death Star or something. Did you say that we got Spatu like Galaxy's Edge? Yeah. yeah, yeah, we got that yeah. one. So that was cool. But we had both new and what new and old characters, didn't we? Mm-hmm. We had one sequence that had Leia and Darth Vader and things. And like Kylo we, Ren. And then yeah, we had newer ones as well. Yeah. It was really good. In short, I really love it. Mm-hmm. It has a cool gift shop too. Yeah, it does, and it's just Again, it's just a really cool, like, themed ride, isn't it? Mm. I can't wait to see um, the rest of Galaxy's Edge and how that's going to be. Oh, and also outside they've got the, the bike thing. Oh, I love that bike. <laughs> Little speeder bike. Yeah. So that was what, number three? That was number three. So moving on to number two. So, in number two is Toy Story Mania, or Midway Mania, whatever it is called now. Um, so this is a ride that... I think probably would have been swapped around with mm-hmm. Star Tours on your list, but yeah. I got my way. This will be my number two. So yeah, this is my number two. And I like it because I like the competitive game aspect. Um, I don't like that bit. Really? Unless I'm winning. Oh, well, you did win. You did win. You win every time. That's why I put it in there. <laughs> so I really like it because um, I love the actual like 3D gaming part. Mm. Um, I like the fact that it kind of spins around and moves for you and like, Buzz Lightyear does, you know, the vehicle moves for you and you kind of flip and spin between things. Um, I like the queue, I think the queue's amazing, yep. especially Mr. Potato Head. Especially now they've got like the new entrance and the new exit mm. and things. Yeah, you get Mr. you get midway of Mr. Potato Head, which we love. Which when I first saw that like on the internet because I hadn't been yet. Mm-hmm. It blew the my it blew my mind to see him pull his ear out and put it back in. Yeah. As a like a technical thing, I was like <laughs> Yeah, it is really cool. I love him. I don't think many people appreciate that that much, really, apart from theme park mates. Apart from when it doesn't work and he yeah. drops it on the floor. Uh, so it doesn't on YouTube. But Perfect. yeah, I like it that the fact that everyone can go on it, like, you know, little kids, yeah. older people, everyone can enjoy it and it's something that everyone can ride together. Um, yeah, I just really love it. I love yeah. everything about it. I love shooty games. Um, Even if I'm a, not very good at it. It's got a great queue with plenty of nostalgia in there. Only thing I'm a bit weary of is I don't like the controls because I, 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 I can't do them very well. Yeah. Oh, so also when, as well, I've read recently that there's like hidden levels that you can unlock. So yeah. I want to try that next time we go. I want to get good at it though. Yeah. 
the thing is we're not there often enough to get good but we will but yeah we'll i just really it. like it and for me that's like well obviously up there at one yeah, of my favorites it's definitely a must for each trip yeah definitely. multiple times and if you can't get a fast pass for something dog i think this is worth a fast pass yeah i'd say so mm -hmm. right so that was number two and so coming in at number one is the tower of terror of course we haven't talked about this enough at all. No. We love it. Um, yeah, I think for me it's probably my favourite ride in all of Disney World. Yeah, I think it's spot on. For, considering what you're looking at is realistically a drop tower, it is outstanding. The best themed drop, drop tower ever. Best themed ride in Disney, I'd say. And also I think it's the best Tower of Terror version yeah. than it, in any of the parks in I any love of it. the world. I love the fact, you know, just again, I've said this in our last top five video, but mm. the off-ride experience, walking down Hollywood, seeing that tower there imposing as like yeah. the main figurehead of Hollywood Studios. Mm -hmm. Walking towards it. Sets the sort of standard of what to expect from the ride. It's intimidating. Um, it oh, looks yeah, great. Oh yeah, it's intimidating. And the fact that you can like see when the doors open at the very yeah. top, you can see that from Sunset Boulevard yeah. and hear people screaming. I love that. Oh, I love so it. fun. I like the fact that... Um, the queue, like the, you, you go through like the gardens, and then you obviously go into the lobby of the mm -hmm. hotel, and it's all like cobwebby and so, creepy. So many details in that queue. It's so decrepit and like yeah. just, I oh, just love it. And um, for me, I was quite surprised by the actual ride sort of mechanism. The fact yeah. that the um, the car actually comes out of the lift to then go through a stage show. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you the didn't realize that was going to happen. And the transition of that was like flawless. Like, had you been on the one in Paris? No, it was in construction last time I was at ah, Paris. Because the Paris one literally just does up yeah. and down, doesn't it? And I think that adds that little bit more to it. Yeah, when you like go through and you see like the ghosts, yeah. um, and then you like see the floating E equals MC squared, <laughs> and like all the like lights and like the stars when you're like going mm -hmm. into the twilight zone. And the eyeball and the mirror and. Oh, yeah, it's just that that kind of like eerie feeling when you can feel yourself yeah. getting into the the drop bit like where the kind of lift clicks in place and then you're just mm -hmm. waiting and then obviously as well tower of terror is it's randomized like the sequence yeah. is randomized i mean i don't know how random it is i think there's like four or five sequences that it drops yeah. and changes and i think we did have a few yeah um and i think we had a good one where we went like all the way from the top mm -hmm. to the bottom a couple of times um, yeah, I love the cast members are always in character. That's really cool. Yeah. I like the little like library room where you watch the pre-show video And I just like I just love everything about it And then this kind of last part of the queue is when you're in is it like the boiler? Well, it's called? you go through the boiler room in um in the queue line, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. To board the service elevators. Yeah, yeah. And I think that boiler room like that's a cool section as well Um, yeah, I just love everything about it. I like the gift shop. It's mm -hmm. really cool. That's I just think it's the perfect ride, I really yeah. do. Considering that, you know, what you've got there is a drop tower ride, the element and illusion of space I think it gives mm -hmm. when you're going up into those different hotel corridors. It, you know, it, it says something when a ride actually makes you kind of believe that you're in a in a building. Yeah. And not just in a four walls around a ride. Yeah. I think it's incredible. And I think that if you're scared at the idea of going on this ride, because you don't like drop things then really just try and give it a go because like there's so many people that I've read mm -hmm. online that would hate the idea of going yeah. on it but they loved it because the theming makes that ride like Perfect. no one I mean I wouldn't say no one but nobody really likes that awful like stomach in your mouth feeling but it's just fun? it is fun but it's a horrible feeling <laughs> But it's, I mean, I'm terrified of heights, but I've gotten, you don't realise how high you are. And like, mm. I just think the theme and makes that right. Like from everything from queuing up um, and then like going through, like you say, the, the ride itself before yeah. you even start to drop, it makes it worth riding. And um, I just love everything about it. And oh. I love the fact that these, like you say, that the tower is now kind of Hollywood Studios' mm -hmm. emblem or, you know, it icon. tells a perfect story from the moment you go in. You know, the, the female level in that lobby just shows how decrepit and yeah. abandoned. It gives you that, you know, that sense of unease, I guess. And yeah. Just all the way through it, um, another bonus that, you know, it's a big thing for me on rides, I've just fought off there, is when rides like that, you don't exit out the same way. Mm. So effectively, it's like the guests have gone into the twilight zone. Yeah, that's a point, actually. I uh, think that's really when you, cool. When you come out as well, you're in that kind of like little seating area, aren't you, where you can yeah. see your photo pass pictures. Yeah, and the cast members are always like slightly creepy 
when you come out as well, when the doors open and the cast members are waiting for you. It's the ride I would love to uh, to, like, to work, work on. on, yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I love everything about it. So that was number one. Now you have got an honourable mention, haven't you? Yep. It's um, a ride very close to my heart. <laughs> And the reason why it's not in this list is because nothing comes close. And can I just say this is Tom's honourable mention? Yeah. Not mine. So it's Muppet Vision 3D. <laughs> <sighs> I love that ride. Uh, well, not ride, a track, the show. Sure. I love that show. Um, I know it's a bit dated, but you know, it's so good. Why do you the, love it so First much? time I saw it last year. I mean, I like it. I like you know, the Muppets. It's got... I mean, it's it's got all the 3D short gags, Vince coming in your face and all that, but then it's got the added element of, you know, you've got the Muppets actually played by actors, you've got the animatronics up there. Yeah, I do like what they're called. The um, two old guys. Waldorf and um, old, other old man. I love them too, they're really I do cool. like the Muppets, I promise. Um, but yeah, I just, I just love it. I love the sort of participation of Vince almost coming out the screen in terms of actual actors coming in. Yeah. I think that's um, what makes it, doesn't it? The fact that you have yeah. real life people. If it had some updated visuals on the screen, I would love it. And it, it does make, I would love it even more, I should say. And it does make me kind of sad that, you know, the Muppets aren't a focal point anymore, considering how big they used to be. Mm. I would love to see them come back properly. Mm-hmm. But you never know, I mean, they've not got rid of it completely. No. So you never know, they might, they might bring it back. I think it'll be gone soon. Yeah, so ride it while you can, or go see it while you can. And if you hate it, that's fine. You're wrong. <laughs> You love it, don't you? I do. So that was our top five Hollywood Studios plus one. Um, yeah, sorry about all that noise, by the <laughs> way. There's you can hear it. Someone doing DIY. I think he's get, next she's getting door. a new bath fitted. All right. Anyway, so that was our top five Hollywood Studios. Let us know what your top five would be. And does yours differ to us? Would yours? Would you put anything in here that we didn't include? Um, and then come back for next video, which will be top five of Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom, yeah. Of Animal Kingdom. Um, So yeah, leave us a comment, subscribe, like, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.